Hi, my name's Flossie Rocks and I live in this 23 foot step van, a self-converted RV, sometimes known as a bread truck or a Grumman van. I converted it myself and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about friendship and connection and finding community on the road. Amanda has brought me to a little spot in the woods where they are doing some forest walk in the lights. <sighs> I had such a nice time yesterday. I popped over here to Digital Nomad Life requires effort to make friends and make connections. I feel like I'm picking up illicit goods. Potatoes! I wanted to talk about Octo Hat. Ooh. How you can win this hat because I'm grateful and thankful for this community, for being so wonderful, supportive, caring. Today is a work day for me. I have to do a lot of editing and some writing. Look at these frost shadows near camp. There's a sunshine has come out and tickled them. I'm pretty excited. Amanda has brought me to a little spot in the woods where they are doing some forest walk in the lights. Night forest walky thing. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I'm a little excited. This is our last night hanging out together and a nice way to round it off. It's been inside most of the day working and it feels good to be coming outside. Uh, wake myself up with a little cold and see what they're gonna do. It's gonna be pretty cool. Look at this beautiful lantern up here. Sounds pretty mysterious. Around the campfire all the old folk would whisper of a tale The story of a promised land and of a secret trail Bigfoot. Maybe it's 
Bigfoot. back to dancing days of yonder <laughs> of being younger yeah <sighs> good times good times now we go Fun. see frank yay frankie it's not quite the same as a campfire but it'll do i see everyone put their stick there but that doesn't feel right no we put them in the rubbish Time has come for me to hit off and hit the road and leave this beautiful, cold, frosty, icy wonderland because tomorrow it's due to snow and I want to be out of here by then and take my beautiful house, say goodbye to Amanda and Frank and I'm sure we'll be meeting each other again soon. It has been so gorgeous. We've done a lot of outdoor cool things and I've tested my diesel heater and got that in working and really experienced what it is like this time of year with a new van with the new upgrades that I've done since um, in nights when it gets down to minus 10 ish Celsius which is cold out and I have been good it's hard work but good I always have fun on our adventures I'm so grateful to have such an amazing friend uh, who I met through the internet and have become besties with. Saying goodbye to the mountains and the river. Look, the sunshine is up there now. Oh, it's pretty beautiful. I'll always remember our adventures so fondly in moments like these. I was saying goodbye to something else. <laughs>
the morning. I just woke up and I wanted a really, really cute outfit today, but I realized that I need warm leggings underneath and these ones, which I really love, which are bamboo cotton. I need to mend the crotch because they're all holes. I tend to wear the crotch out or the inner seam and all the pants I wear. And so time to do some gentle mending. I've done a lot of mending and I've saved it all for winter. <laughs> Of course, patches to sew on, crochet stuff, and a very messy. I need to get a better box or a better tin for this. Okay, let's get sewing. I had such a nice time yesterday. I popped over here to hang over, hang out with Sailor Barry and Haley. Um, I met them recently and I've had a lovely time. Um, I've been noticing that as I moved from where I was previously living to more Vancouver Island based, I um, had less friends around. And loneliness is a thing that happens sometimes when you, <laughs> live on the road, you're semi-nomadic. Um, I feel like digital nomad life requires effort to make friends and make connections. And so sticking my neck out and being like, hey, and then having that met by Haley, who was really sweet and invited me to come out and hang out was really lovely. So I am now off the island and I am heading up towards Qualcomm Beach, Parksville, I believe. Anyway, I'll see you then. excited about that. I came from the island, came across the ferry, came up this direction, further up north of the island, um, and picked up my drum. I have an Irish drum, a boron, um, which I play sometimes. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not amazing at it. Something that I am hoping to get better at because I love Irish music so much and I feel drawn to connect with my Irish heritage. But the drum had been sitting on the shelf of my van. You've probably seen it in videos, but it kept falling off because I hadn't put a proper hook on it. But it got damaged. Um, and so I took it back to the drum maker to get repaired and he's done an amazing job. It looks so beautiful now. Um, so my goal is to keep it beautiful and not let it get damaged ever again. But, yeah, it feels lovely to be able to head out and wander around the island and go a bit here and there and feel more in touch with parts of the island that I am unfamiliar with and connect more with them. Um, I am also a fan of this area because I feel like there's some um, antiques and collectible stores around, so I am going see if I can find one right now and we'll stop in and take a look because I love old things and I love decorating my house with old things and so it's really amazing to stop by antiques and collectible stores 
to see what's around in places that are a little further out of the way because oftentimes they have better stuff. I really love a good antique store. That one was like an interesting collection between antiques and collectibles, but very kitschy. Um, I'm also very good at going into stores like that and being like, I would like that in my house once I have a house. I would like that by my fireplace once I have one. And not buying it right now, because I don't have any room. There's a beautiful eagle. I don't have any room for extra things. I can't store it. I can't buy six other copper kettles or three other pots or uh, an antique uh, meat grinder. You know, like all of these things I want when I have the kitchen space to create my farmhouse kitchen, to create a space that feels homesteady and interesting and his character and soul and bring all of these random collections of items that all have memories from when I got them and what trips I was on. I look forward to that day. There's this beautiful mirror, little anchor ship mirror and I was like, oh, but that's brass and I'm like, will I be putting lots of brass in my house? I don't know. One day, <laughs> when I have a little cabin in the woods, off-grid cabin in the woods to decorate, we'll fill it with that kind of stuff. Good morning, everybody. This is where I woke up this morning. It's beautiful. I am working on several crochet projects. This is my original octo hat. An octopus. And then this winter, I made this guy. Is beautiful. One of these two I'm going to give away on the YouTube channel. I'm very tempted to give away this original yellow one and keep the blue one. But I'm also making another hood. If you follow crochet patterns on the internet, it's called a matrix hood. And so I've just got to make the hood piece now. And it's for a friend's birthday, which is in a day or two, so I have to finish it really quickly. But we'll get there. <laughs> Look at this amazing harvest! Oh, I know which ones I'm gonna get. I just stopped by my friend's house and she did a Costco run and got me these potatoes for my van. I'm so happy. I feel like I'm picking up illicit goods. Hello Patreons! I am in a, a town at the moment and have just about to go to the post office and post some things out. Some of you are waiting for things from me and I have been scrambling for a time to go to the post office so I'm doing that right now which is very exciting. And over the last couple of days I've been doing some experimenting with my power system and the amount of work I do on a computer and uh navigating the rain 
and therefore the lack of solar for my power system, which has been a really incredible experiment and good to see how long I can be off for if I need to do a bunch of driving to get the alternator to charge my batteries. I have not yet been doing that while also running the Starlink. Um, that is the next stage and I think I'm a little worried <laughs> about being in the Pacific Northwest and the amount of rain and the amount of cloud and gray, the lack of solar. My solar panels are fantastic. If it is a sunny day, I am golden. <sighs> From a cold outside temperature to a beautiful evening. Welcome to a, a mysterious daytime dark outside video. I have uh, my fireplace on and I'm testing out using uh, a battery light because it's a nicer warmer softer light than my overhead lights and I'm actually thinking about putting some fairy lights in probably a little influenced by Amanda and her ceiling lights but some nicer more ambient light would be lovely I wanted to talk about Octo Hat Ooh. This is an Octo Hat I recently completed, and normally I give away one Octo Hat per year, this time of year, every year. However, I really like this blue one. Um, the eyes are a little crooked. I need to reattach one of them in a better position, because otherwise it's a little bit drunk. A drunk octopus. This, this is the original Octo Hat. And I thought I would tell you a little story about it. This is the original Octo Hat. Uh, it is an octopus. If you haven't already figured it out, I love the color yellow and oranges and reds and everything in that hue. And it brightens me up. And I also love the underwater. If you go into my vid channel and in the playlists, I have a big playlist of free diving underwater film videos. I also made a short film. A couple years ago, I went through a, a little bit of a breakup and was quite devastated and kind of not coping very well and needed something to distract me, cheer me up, kind of hold the tenderness of my heart. I love this hat so much um, and it also served a purpose of really nursing and caring for me holding the tender parts of myself allowing me something to do something to hold my heart when I was going through a breakup it's hard and to prevent oneself sinking into a deep wallow of despair doing something or making something often really helps so I made this octopus hat I had been looking at Kraken octopus hats online they're all about two to three hundred dollars each and then I found this pattern for a small ten dollar fee on Etsy and I was like my homosexual audacity tells me that I can do anything even crochet an octopus hat having never really crocheted anything else before and look here it is and now I'm on to my third and looking at other cool patterns as well so this beautiful hat here is the one that I made this year. It's a little bit drunk. I stuck the eyeballs in not quite the right place. Um, and I'm tempted to decide whether I keep this one and give away this one or give away this one and keep this one. Because this is the original one. Um, and it hasn't snowed here yet, so I haven't really started wearing it. And I think it's really important when we're going through grief to channel that grief, create ritual, create places and ways of tending and caring for ourselves when we are going through heartbreak. And I think crafting something is a beautiful way to literally stitch one's heart back together. And so that's what these octopus hats are. This is the third one I have made. I gave away another one on my channel last year to one of you beautiful subscribers. I'm so happy. Got this beautiful photo of them wearing it. And I hope to continue this tradition every year. <sighs> I will post it anywhere. Put in the comments below. Vote whether you should think I should give away this beautiful blue one or the original yellow and red one. How you can win this hat. Subscribing to my Instagram and commenting on posts, making sure you follow. And if you don't have Instagram, my newsletter, 
or sending me an email. Um, my, all of those details are in the description box below, including the instructions on how to enter the giveaway. I'm so excited. I'll post it to you wherever you are because I'm grateful and thankful for this community, for being so wonderful, supportive, caring, and kind. And I have so much gratitude for the open-heartedness and the way you all show up to the way the vulnerable things that I have to share and say something sometimes. And I hope this octopus can hold and care for you as much as you have cared for me. Thank you.